Hello, this video is about my installation of a GPS Speedo on a 928S4. This is an 87 year. And uh, before I would get started, I would disconnect the uh, battery, which would be your negative, before you start any electronics. And that will shut everything off and you can get started. And it would be the safest way to hook up any electronics so you don't get a... Um, uh, blown fuse or, or worse some electronics destroyed But in this video, I will be showing you how I put in the GPS speedo. I am NOT going to be showing you uh, how I uh, took the uh, the dash pot out and uh, some other general details uh, of, of how to remove a speedo and stuff There's videos that I've created and other people have created that are plentiful there So I didn't think they'd be uh, um, a need to waste your time on that and uh, so there let's let's move forward All right, I wanted to show the overall size difference um, so this has studs on it. I'll be taking that off let's just look at it laying on the paper it is if anything just a smidge shorter now on the dimensions of the uh, speedo it's it includes this I may or may not be using that. It just depends on my application. In the back of the Speedo, there is a circuit board um, for all the, uh, the uh, components. Um, I've got to figure out what to do there. Um, but I want to make this as simple as possible without... Um, well, basically to where if I need to, I can return it right back. This is a spare part that I had taking gears off and stuff because I've been having troubles with the uh, the odometer and uh, and then uh, I think a while back while taking it apart I accidentally broke um, this system here below the needle and then I had to get a part for that too well I think that's why I bought all that was originally because I snapped it and I took this piece and took the, the one that came with the car on top of the other one which had the mileage on it but anyways, uh, still having troubles with the odometer, circuit board, not the problem either. Uh, but what I'll probably do is uh, a 911 has a rubber ring that you put around. And I'm going to see if uh, I might put a rubber ring around that. I don't know yet. I just got to pull out the Speedo and see. All right, so I'm fishing the wires through. I stole one of my wires. I don't know what this is for. Probably uh, for plants or something. And I'm fishing it down through the here. And what I'm doing is uh, I am trying to get the power to the speedo. Um, the wiring has three wires. It has uh, one for normally closed I'm not going to be using. And uh, just a cons or a intermittent power, which is a red wire. Yellow would be constant. And, and then ground, which I'm going with the Porsche brown for ground. I'm using a flashlight to be able to see where it needs to go. I removed this plate here. It has two Phillips screwdrivers, at least on mine, but Phillips screws on this side. And we'll see where I'm going to put it at. Uh, went extra long. Definitely could trim it up. Um, I bought or had bought for uh, the 920 some other stuff um, a while back. And I just kind of went crazy on buying connectors. So I bought this water booth connector a while back. For whatever reason, I don't recall. Um, but I'll be using that, I think. We'll see, unless it's too big. But I think there's plenty of room. Um, the satellite area, I'm thinking I can fish it through there and then drive it up here as the wire. We'll see, um, hopefully. And I really would like to get it in the center, but if not, it'll be right here. And uh, what I could do didn't think about is putting that back on and this putting that sensor right there behind the uh, trim rail that might actually be a good uh, idea because it'd get it'd be somewhat hidden so just thought of that now inspirational moment there is metal here so obviously that's a pretty strong mm -hmm. pillar but i know there's a little bit of flex here obviously I'm using the flashlight to bring the wires back up hopefully it holds on and it does. There we go. Winter chicken dinner. All right. So I have decided to fish it through there 
and then through here and then up here to that spot there um i've got to figure out right now i just got it temporarily mounted with a tape um what i want to center it up as best i can but um probably get some 3m tape and uh mount it right there and then like i said you can't even see it and that's up inside the uh all right i had forgotten that um my uh light my uh, gauge will need a light so i'm hooking up from the black and blue line that's in the back of your cigarette lighter um, so i'm gonna splice into that power that's your ground not really for sure the purpose of this one might be a switch of some sort um, but i'll have to solder that in very carefully um, and i did much the same fed it through up here and come out excuse me fed it through here and come out to here so obviously i got plenty of wire um considering getting a new radio because my older one is it, it still works but i seen a blob punk that was fairly cheap that was never used and i'm looking at putting in um we'll see what happens there i'm kind of waiting on on if that's going to happen if not i'll just put the other radio back in it works fine but i thought since i have everything out why not uh, replace it but the other one i have is just uh just pretty much a very simple radio and this one's got a cd player too so um that's it see what happens thanks all right i'm wrapping up this uh job the moment i've got um so i don't know if i mentioned this before but this that uh goes into the odometer reset mechanism must be some kind of magnetic clutch cut those two wires and i put some like plastic dip or something on there i forget what it's called white flex tape stuff and uh, I did down in here uh, Dremel out with a flat Dremel that area just because where the uh, satellite connection it was raising the gauge maybe a half a millimeter and I didn't like that so I cleaned that up uh, when I drilled the hole here letting the um, satellite thing out I could definitely tell it's it's pretty thick so I knew then I had a little ways to go down without going to the other side where, you know, the circuit board's at. If you're familiar with that. Uh, my wire connectors are here. Uh, my single one. Let's see here. That's a single. Um, that one is for the uh, uh, illumination, which I'm hooking up off the ashtray uh, backlight. And then these are the two power sources with some momentary uh, power and then ground and that's a two connector. I could have went out and got a three connector But uh, for whatever reason I had two of these and I really just didn't want to go out. So um, On the gauge, let me go grab that. Oh On the back side these uh, screws mounting screws were a little bit longer and So I cut them off with uh, let's see here put this down without scratching anything um, use this tool here it's a bolt if you didn't know this is a bolt cutter and you cut down screw sizes and so then what I did is after I cut them down is about half the size or, or long or longer than that I put some of that uh, flex white flex seal on it just to uh, keep look like a clean job and that that'll come off so that's not a big concern there and then I don't know if I mentioned it, um, I put some of that self-sealing tape around the uh, Speedo uh, just to give it a little hold. The, the actual Speedo that goes in here is just a hair smaller than these gauges. And um, it goes 85, I think, to 87 millimeters, or it's supposed to be been three and three eighths. It's just a hair difference, not a big deal. So I've got that done, um, wrapping up some of the work, um, soldering wires, I've been soldering in the car, the connectors here, just making a nice clean job. And uh, just kind of taking my time, it's a real nice day. Hi everyone, um, I'm doing this to 
help with my own rant when I'm installing the pod for the uh, 928. And I'm sure this is for many years, but um, basically when you're installing it, the wiring will only go back in to these illumination uh, switches um, uh, when, when the pod's all the way in. And when you're laying underneath the, uh, uh, well, underneath the dash on the floorboard of your car, it's just, I, I don't like it. I'm not getting any younger anymore and uh and then sweating because i can't get that connection on and then if it, if you did a poor job of connecting it and then it pops off then you all of a sudden lose your illumination and then you're like wondering well what's going on and why and i think i did a video about uh my poor job of installing it before and causing a, no illumination having to turn my cell phone on uh, with the flashlight and laying it on my dash pod because I couldn't see driving at night when I uh, was working on my Cayenne and uh, broke a, some um, pipe that took a week to get so I couldn't drive it and, and so I was driving my 928 to work for um, a weekend and I was driving 100 miles or something. So anyways, uh, this is hopefully going to help with the install. Um, I had used this um, fastener type setup. I mean, I wasted <laughs> tons of these yesterday just trying to figure out how to use it. I'm not very good at it. Excuse me. Not very good at it, but I think I figured it out. The big thing with this is I didn't realize there's a, in the middle of each of these teeth there is a shelf, and and you need a get that shelf, uh, uh, I should say a shelf, it's like a, 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 an edge, and you just, this back piece, um, you you uh, push it forward until you hit that stair step area, that edge, and then you stop. And that way, you don't crush things that are not supposed to be crushed, and you get a good, uh, they both get clamped at the same time, at least for this size. And uh, you might have to massage it a little bit, like like this one back here is a little bit fair, flared out a little bit. I usually push it in just a hair to get it started. And it's a really nice quality clamp. Uh, I don't, also there is a release here. So these, this is ratcheting. So hopefully uh, my new setup will make my job a lot easier. And, uh, and I really don't want to take the pot out again, but if I do, uh, for whatever reason, it won't be all this uh, cussing. So hopefully that helps you if you want to do it too. All right. Cheers. Another uh, thing I try to do to make sure the um, the gauge doesn't move, I put a wire tie in the back between these two wires so it should hold it securely there. Clean the inside here. I think we got the gauge pretty centered up. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now just trying to wrap some things up. There's the wires I was talking about that I was doing the extensions for. Like I said, they are very tight. Uh, let's see here. I think it's, gotta remember, I gotta put this on first. I gotta go think this through for a minute. Take a quick lunch break. All right, some two uh, bolt long bolts to go in the pod that I'm always searching for while I'm underneath the dash. I uh, absolutely hate trying to figure out where they're at. And I'm painting them orange. I'm putting some clear on them in a second. So, anyways, I know I'm crazy, but, and I hope I don't ever have to do this again, but this is uh, right. streamlining it. I'm gonna double check the wiring here, make sure everything's good. Some of my colors had changed um, because of, I guess I didn't realize the Speedo was different. I was trying to go from the car to Speedo. So, anyways, um, this is in. Um, Got that in place. I think that's right. I'm going to see if I can read up on it. Make sure the, uh, I think I'll have to push it out as far as I can. And then start connecting stuff. Um, but anyway, it looks, looks, looks promising. Just got to make sure I find all these connectors. There'll be one, one, two, and three. And uh, slide them on and see what magic happens. Do a smoke test. For my reminder, I always get confused. This this uh, setup here, the the uh, turn signal, 
um, switch set up. This one has an extra set of wires, obviously for some extra um, option that my car doesn't have, but these, these are not it. So, I mean, they're not being used, so I just push them out. But every time I put this back together, I don't have any notes and I'm like, why do I have two extra? And I'm 99% sure that's not used. There's also an extra one behind here. It's black, it's wrapped up in tape. Um, yeah, that might not be a bad idea to wrap that one up in tape too. Hmm, something's going on. But anyway, I did my traditional. I lost another part. Sure, sure can't find it. I'm still looking for it, but I'll probably have to loosen up part of the dash and shove it in there. It's a rubber piece. I can't remember if you can do it after the fact or not, but right now, I can't find it, so, but it's not gonna stop me from putting this together, but, uh, and doing a smoke test. Okay, she's put together, just to let you know, I did do a smoke test beforehand, and everything at the moment is working. Um, there we go. Um, lighting, turn on. These light gauges will light up. They are lit up, it's just, it's not very dark in here. And, uh, the first time it, re it turned on, it took, I think, 63 seconds. But now that it's found it, um, we'll see how long that lasts. But it's been unplugged for two, three weeks. So I just don't know. And I don't drive this car all the time. I haven't uh, finished um, setting that up yet. But everything else is connected. And uh, we'll start her up. I just moved to about 10 bags of mulch in front and uh, haven't finished that yet but uh, everything else is looking good all right um, after looking at the um, antenna the way I had stalled it it's designed for an outside mount so if you install it from the inside with the flat side, it's actually in reverse mode. So um, let me show you that. This is the tape I used to mount it. Um, but ba basically what I did was, I need to finish up the wiring here, but I had this wiring go up through here and then come down here and there's some already some wiring here and then I attached it right here. So the satellite is pushing out. So that's a good spot. Now I need to make sure this is in there right and then we should be good. I don't think I have it snapped in right, so i got to wrap that up. But that should be it. <clears throat> and now the, the GPS uh, signal is pointing out, and uh, or the sensor, so it should connect even quicker now, because before, it was basically facing down and trying to reflect back up to space, to the satellites, and it was ass backwards. So, but anyway, that's where we go. Um, this gives you such a long cord it's it's crazy how long it is it, it because i think some people like i said would be installing this on the outside but this setup should work fine i didn't want to put it on this side there is a sensor there for temperature i believe but uh and this is some special um mirror it's not standard for a 928 anyway thank you